Amen. Jesus Christ is coming back. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, Please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. But the others replied, We don't have enough for all of us. Go to a shop and buy some for yourself. See, this is midnight. How many stores are open at midnight? Tell me that. The Bible says we should be prepared for his coming. The Son of God is coming back. You know, he came the first time as a baby. He grew up. At 30 years old, he started a ministry telling people to repent, turn from their sins, and turn to him. Follow him. And then he was crucified. And he shed his precious blood for the sins of all people. All people. Not just some. All people. So the blood of Christ is enough. The shed blood of Christ is enough to cover the sins of the entire world. That includes all of us. And he died on that cross. And that offered us salvation. We call it salvation. His blood offered us salvation. His sacrifice offered us salvation from eternal destruction. But back to the story. All the bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. Then the five foolish ones asked the others, please give us some of your oil because our lamps are going out. See, these foolish bridesmaids weren't ready for the arrival of the bridegroom. They weren't ready. And we preach the gospel here so that you can be ready when Jesus returns and you can be found as a person who is called saved instead of lost. You can be redeemed instead of destroyed. There's only two options. God's ways are right and God's ways are just. So are you waiting for the king to return? The bridegroom, Jesus. And we're pointing you in his direction because it's necessary. It's necessary that all people know the truth. Because the Bible says the truth sets a man free. The truth about Christ. So we preach Christ in this place. We preach Christ. Christ crucified. Shed his blood for your sins so you can be saved. We preach that salvation is available for all people. Not all people receive salvation. But we're pointing you in his direction so you don't reject it any longer. 
Stop rejecting the saving power of Jesus Christ. Start trusting him today. Why not? Give up on yourself. Give up on your own ways, your own selfish ambitions, and shoulder your cross and follow the Savior. He's called Savior for a reason. Back to the story. So there was five wise bridesmaids and five foolish. The wise ones, they were found to be ready for the bridegroom. They were ready. You know, when you become a Christian, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, when you get the Holy Spirit fill you, you're sealed by the Holy Spirit and you are found in Christ. You identify as a Christian because you have the Holy Spirit in you. But these other ones did not have enough oil for their lamps. So it was midnight. And when they went out to buy more oil, which was foolish to do because all the stores would be closed, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was locked. Later when the other five bridesmaids returned, they stood outside calling, Sir, open the door for us. But he called back, I don't know you. I don't know you. That's what Jesus will tell these people. I don't know you. This is why we tell you about Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. For God so loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever, are you a whoever, whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That's the message. Every week we come here and we tell you about Jesus Christ so that you can identify with him, so that you can be found in him, so he doesn't have to tell you, I don't know you. Know him today. Know the Savior today. Recognize the Son of God as Savior today. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. If you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Do you want to be saved? Be lost no more. Be lost no more. We call out as messengers. I'm just a messenger. I'm just calling out to say you ought to be saved. You ought to know the Savior. You ought to know Jesus Christ personally. You ought to have the Holy Spirit living inside of you. The Spirit of God. The one he sends from heaven so that you can have a clear mind. You no longer have to live in perpetual confusion, in sin and wickedness. You see, sin is a problem. Most people in the West don't want to talk about this ugly word called sin. But sin is a problem. And Jesus literally shed his blood for the sins of the world, the nations, the people. All of us. I'm included in this. I might be preaching to you right now to turn away from your sins, but I had to as well. And I have to live a life of, hey, Jesus, cleanse me from all unrighteousness too because I desire to live for the kingdom of God. And so 